don't make this recipe. This video is good for listening practice. It is not good for cooking. I made a mistake and now I have cookies, not scones. The mixture was too runny. It spread across the tray and these are much too flat to be scones. I don't know what happened. Maybe I made a mistake when I measured the milk. I don't know, but they are not scones. If you want some cherry cookies, maybe you can try it. First, turn on your oven to 190 degrees Celsius. It's the school holidays, so my daughter is going to bake scones with me. The ingredients for scones are flour, baking powder, cherries, vinegar, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, sugar, butter, and milk. I am adding cherries to my scones because cherry scones are my favourite. But if you don't like cherries, you can use sultanas, raisins, chocolate chips, or any other kind of dry fruit that you like. You could also leave them plain if you don't want to put anything in them. Today, I will be measuring the ingredients with measuring cups. This recipe is from an American recipe book and all American recipes use cups, not grams. You can buy measuring cups very cheaply on Amazon or maybe you use measuring cups in your country. Tell me in the comments. First, we need our milk and vinegar. This is white wine vinegar. You can use any vinegar which does not have a strong taste. We need to put two teaspoons of vinegar into the milk. I know that's strange, but trust me, it works. There it is. Leave the milk to one side. Next, put the flour, sugar and baking powder into your mixing bowl. We need three cups of flour. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And half a cup of sugar. Stop. Oh, no more. <laughs> I want it to be extra sweet. Okay. Now stir. Next is the butter. We are going to rub in the butter. If you saw my crumble video, this is the same way that we made the crumble topping. This is half a cup of butter. Ew. Take the dry flour and rub it between your fingers and thumbs to mix it with the butter. When all the butter is mixed with the flour, it should look like this. Next, add your milk. It will look strange. It may be thick. It may look disgusting, but it will be fine. Don't worry. Pour in the milk and mix it. That's one and a quarter cups of milk mixed with two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. Add 
two tablespoons of vegetable oil. and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all together. Next, add your fruit or chocolate chips or nuts or anything you want to try. For the cherries, I'm going to break them in half to make smaller pieces. Every time I looked away, my daughter ate some cherries. She forgot about the camera. We used a full tub of cherries because we really like cherries, but you choose how many you want to put in. Our mixture looks like this. Next, take a baking tray and baking paper. Cover your baking tray with paper. Then use a spoon to drop blobs of mixture onto the tray. looks a little bit runny. You can see the mixture is spreading out across the tray. Maybe I've done something wrong. I don't know. <laughs> we will see how it turns out. Put your scones in the oven for 20 minutes. These are not even like cookies. They are soft, like little flat cakes. But I hope the video was useful for listening practice. I will try my scone recipe again and make a better video so that you can actually try some scones. Keep learning and I'll see you next time. Bye.